here's what we're going to do. We'll do this one at a time. I think we can do the first one first. You know I often like to take them out of order. We'll do the first one first. Who gets more? You've got this amount of drink being shared among this many people versus that amount of drink <coughs> shared among this many people. Okay, so how do we work this out? Number one, who agrees? I think Aiden put up yes. that these people, he reckons these people get more ha hands up. Yeah, okay, thank you, hands down. Someone who reckons they agree, can you tell us how you convinced yourself and how you could convince us that those people get more? Kimmy? You divide 2.5 by 7 and see what like each person gets by that and then you do that with the other one and then you see who gets more. Okay, fantastic. So when you see this language of sharing, right? Um, Kim is exactly right. Sharing and dividing, they are these very parallel ideas, right? If you want to share something, you've got to divide it into slices. So then you can get each of these, okay? Um, what do you get? What do you get? For example, did anyone divide two and a half by seven and have an answer for that? Nikhil, are you stretching or are you actually... Stretching. Okay, right, Tarun? 257 remainder one. Oh, that's because I did... Oh, I see. You're talking about mills. Is that right? So you 2,500 divided by 7. Is that correct? Now, interesting. Okay, so a couple of things just happened there, which was great because it um, reminded us of something we learned earlier, which is conversion, right? So we could do this in mills or in liters. By the way, there's something I really like about doing this in mils rather than liters. It's a bigger number, right? So, yeah, exactly. I don't have to worry so much about these decimal points. I mean, I will, but I don't. they're not as much of a concern. What was your original number again? Two. My answer is 357. Is that this one or that one? Which number? This one? 357 remained one. Okay. I guess if we were using the same kind of method, you'd have to do not four, but four... Thousand divided by eleven, and do you want to tell us what you got for that as well? Okay, so it's pretty close, but yes, the um, eleven people, despite being a big group, they're sharing a big enough amount that they each get more, a little bit. Okay. All right, now here I need your help. I need your help a little bit. Do you remember yesterday we all looked at this question and struggled with it a little bit, right? Part of what makes it hard is it's phrased, it's written in a bit of an unusual way. They're fractions. Whereas if we tried them with decimals, everyone could do this really easily. So I asked you to get your calculators out. Can you guys work out for me, um, what is two fifths as a decimal? In fact, you might not even need your calculator for that one. Two fifths as a decimal? Zero point four, I think I heard. Zero point four, okay. The 307, that's a bit trickier, but our calculator can do, to take care of that as well. Can someone tell me what three over seven is? As a decimal? Sorry, say it again. Can someone tell me what it actually is? Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Okay. So now, now I need some help. I've got one, two, three, four, five answers, and I need to know which ones actually fit and which ones do not. Okay. So let's have a look at each of them. Can I get? You five from Jaren all the way to Charlie. Can you test this one? Find out what it is as a decimal, okay? Can you four, right? Daniel to Aiden, can you do, well actually I think you can do that one pretty quickly. Um, this one, I think we should all be able to read off. Uh, let's see, from Frank, Frank will give me Beth, Tom. Can you do this one? And then finally over here on the right hand side of Fatima to Aaron. Can you do the last one? Okay. Please tell me what these are as decimals. So we have a small percentage of Okay, all right, what do we got? I got it! 2 over 6. Okay, very good. You guys had an easy one. 0 0.5. We can all do this one. What do we got here? 0. Point? Wait, wait, you're doing the last one. I'm allowed to, yeah. 29 over 70? John, do you have a calculator? Someone got it? Someone, someone, anyone? You guys got it? Yeah? 0.4, 4, 1, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4
Okay, all right. Very good. Okay. Oh, I know there's more. I know there's more. Oh, two. Five. That one? Totally saved it. Okay, good. Okay, so now, now I need you all to put your calculators and pens out of your hand. And full attention now that we've got everyone's data on the board. Just put down for a second. Okay, so now we're ready to have a discussion about this, right? One of the things that's lovely about maths is it can tell you, like, am I in the right ballpark or not? You know, um, see this range here, this pair of numbers? They could be anything. Has anyone seen it in the news recently? They discovered a new planet. Does anyone know where they discovered it? Oh yeah. Space. 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 yeah. They yeah. discovered yeah. it. The galaxy the galaxy far it's not away. it's not that far it's away. So they recently They recently discovered this planet orbiting around this star. Now this star's a really big deal. It's really special because it's the very, very closest star to the sun, right? That means that after the sun, it's our closest star. If we wanted to go and like, you know, colonize somewhere and make a new thing in another star system, if our star like blows up or something, this is where we'd go, okay? Now what's really cool is we know that the planet is kind of like Earth, like in terms of size and what it's made of. And how we know comes down to numbers like these, right? Like how, what's the mass of this thing? How far is it from its star? What's its atmosphere made up of? It's gonna be made up of numbers like this, like how much oxygen is there, how much nitrogen? So getting this number within a range could be a really important question for us. How many of our answers are in the right range? How many? Three. Look carefully. How two. many do you see? I see two, right? This one's good, 0.41. It's pretty close to the middle. And so is this one. In fact, this one, who did that one? Who wrote that one down? So is that the average between the two? Is that the yeah? yeah? Okay, it's, it looks like it's exactly halfway. Do, do you see that? Look, <laughs> 0.4, 0.428. It's yeah, okay, which is probably how you worked it out. Okay, so working out questions like this is really interesting because you come up with a whole bunch of answers. There's an infinite number of answers that are right, um, but it's not that easy to find them. Okay.